Hey guys, I'm Greg Vaughn. I'm your instructor for the course over fitness. And before we get into all the components of fitness, we need to define what the term fitness actually means, what's comprised of it, what our perception of it is, um, so we can get into the components of programming, living a healthy lifestyle, etc. But defining the term fitness, fitness can easily be defined as you know your level of performance and functionality as it relates to the task that you have to get done through your daily life, through your sport, or through whatever, again, you want to achieve out of life. But at some point, though, fitness is, in fact, a level of overall performance. So being able to perform certain tasks like getting up the stairs or running a 40 in four seconds, whatever that performance means to you, as well as being able to perform with correct function or a certain level of functionality. Now we all have a level of performance and functionality. It's just, you know, we're using our overall fitness level to improve that day in and day out in the gym, at work, at home, whatever those things are. So getting into what is fitness though, what makes up performance and functionality? So performance being able to perform certain tasks, functionality being able to do them correctly. A couple of things that can go into it is you have to have an adequate amount of strength to perform certain tasks. If I can spell strength. So, and you also have to be able to have certain level of stamina to be able to perform that task over a period of time. So do you have the strength to be able to get upstairs? Do you have stamina to be able to get up three flights of stairs or whatever it is um, you need to achieve? Stamina could also go into endurance, which is, is your heart healthy? Are your lungs healthy? Do they do what they need to do? So when we're looking at strength and stamina, endurance, those comprise performance and function, to be able to have strength, to be able to have stamina, there's a few more components to fitness. There is stability, which is your body's ability to resist movement. And there's also a form that we're uploading with all the definitions. So you can have the definitions in front of you as you watch this video. Um, there's a certain level of mobility. So can your joints, can your body actually move correctly um, through a degree or a range of motion. Are you flexible enough? So flexibility comes before mobility. Flexibility is just a joints, uh, you know, a joints range of motion. Like does it have the physical capability to get to full range of motion? And if it doesn't, why? And then flexibility also kind of goes hand in hand with overall posture. But again, just several components that fitness is comprised of, all right? And we'll get into these, we'll make them uh, extremely simple and we'll start with this posture, flexibility, mobility down here and you'll see how it adds in to all things performance and function as well. Um, a big takeaway too is just understanding that fitness, your fitness level should not be directly defined by a number on the scale or a certain look or, you know, a, Again, it's not a number, all right? It's performance and functionality. It's taking your posture, your genetics, your circumstances, and your goals and combining it into becoming the best version of you to be able to perform and function and achieve the task that you want to achieve. So a big takeaway in just what is fitness is figure out how you perceive fitness um, for yourself as well. What is fitness to you? Is it just or has it been a number on the scale? Or can it be much more? Can it be you know, the mobility and the strength to be able to get down on the floor and get back up, to be able to get upstairs and just not be limited um, by what life um, kind of throws your way, right? So forever we wanna be able to move, to sit, to stand, and again, not be limited by our physical capabilities. So at some level, that's what fitness uh, should be about. And again, guys, make sure you download the document that has the definition and we'll get into the first lesson, which is going to be part one of explaining the components of fitness as it relates to your program. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.